In this video, we're going to study the IV graph of a filament lamp or gen uh, metals actually in general. So let's look at this IV graph. So what you will notice is that uh, initially it seems to be obey Ohm's law. It's quite a good boy at first. But after a while, it's going to start to deviate from Ohm's law. It's going to curve downwards like this. And so if we analyze the IV graph. Okay, let us start to draw some lines from the origin to the curve. Okay, so it's it's a constant resistance for a while. But you see, after a while, as the voltage gets larger, this line gets gentler. And since the resistance is the inverse gradient of this line, you'll notice that the resistance increases as the potential difference applied across the filament lamp or the metals increase. So we need to briefly understand why this happens. So let's understand how metals work. So basically, when your potential difference goes up, right, there is more energy dissipated by unit charge, and that inevitably causes the temperature of your system to increase. And when your temperature increases, there are two separate effects that occur. Number one, there is this thing called increased thermal lattice vibrations. And number two, there will be in, an increase in your charge carrier concentration. Let me describe what these two things do. And so, of course, when your temperature goes up, your lattice ions tend to vibrate a little bit more violently. And your lattice ions, you can, you can think of those as your huge metal ions like so, and they start to vibrate around a lot more. Now, what this does is that your little electrons that are trying to fly through are going to collide with these metal ions a lot more. And of course, when there are more collisions, what does that mean? Well, more collisions typically means that there'll be more energy dissipated in the process. And so, of course, that will cause your resistance to increase. Now, if we look at the other effect, increase in charge carrier concentration, now this is, of course, a little bit more easy to understand. Uh, one simple way to think of it is a little bit, there's something called a conduction band, all right? And a lot of the electrons in your uh, substance will either be on one side or the other. And so if you increase the temperature, what happens is that some of these electrons may cross into the conduction band, and therefore you have more guys who can conduct electricity, which means that your resistance will go down. So what happens in a metal is that Typically in a metal, or in this case a filament lamp, um, effect number one is a lot more significant than effect number two, which causes an overall increase in the resistance, which is what we're trying to uh, explain over here. And the reason why that's the case is because metals inherently already have a large number of electrons in the conduction band. And so if you you know, bring a few more into that uh, conduction then it's not going to really make much of a difference. And so it is the thermal lattice vibrations that are more significant or create a more significant effect on the resistance. And so the effect, of course, is this. Voltage increases, resistance increases.